I don't feel very stable. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you need from Power Director University. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the stabilizer in Power Director 16. So, let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's get rid of the shakes. As you can see, I have a clip of some super shaky footage on my timeline. So let's give it a sneak peek real quick here by pressing on play. Oh, oh. Oh my, this, this needs to be rectified immediately. So first thing I'm gonna do is move my playhead back to the beginning of the timeline and I'm gonna click on this clip to select it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to fix enhance. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm gonna come up here to video stabilizer. I'm gonna give it a quick clickety clack, clickety clack. Now, here at the bottom of the fix enhance section, there's a option to compare and split preview. I'm gonna click on this because I wanna see the before and after side by side, okay? That way if I need to make any additional adjustments or change anything, I could do it here instead of having to go back and forth from the timeline to uh, the fix enhance menu. So use that to your advantage. As you can see right here under the apply video stabilizer to correct my shaky footage, the default is at 50. The higher you move this option, the more stabilized your video will, will become, but also the video border will become more cropped. If I move this up to, let's say, let's say I just click here, you'll notice that the little sign became bigger and everything became bigger because it cropped it in, right? So you can use this to amplify the amount of stabilization but what most people want to do is they want to keep it the same size so try to go ahead and use this to get it to a size that's similar to the original size and stabilize it there if it's not stable enough for you just keep moving it up until you get it to a amount that's stable enough for you and for your preference and that's as cropped in as you want it to be if I play these side by side, you see that it is stabilized, looks a lot better here, even at just 30% instead of 50. So that is a huge difference. The tool does a great job of stabilizing your videos for you. Now the next option is fixed rotational camera shake. This setting attempts to automatically correct any rotational camera shake created while recording handheld footage. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna leave this at 30 for the video stabilizer and now I'm gonna click on play so you can see side by side the original footage on the left and the stabilized footage on the right. So once again, looking all pretty and stabilized, don't look all shakety, shake, 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 no more. Does a really good job, so that looks good. And then we have the final option on here. And the final option is the enhanced stabilizer. So this option attempts to fix any non-directional shakiness. Uh, and it's really useful if you're like panning. So if you have any pan shots, I would recommend using this. Now keep in mind, the enhanced stabilizer is a resource demon. It will eat up all of your CPU, your GPU, your RAM, all that good stuff because it is a very powerful tool. So keep in mind, if you use that, then your video is gonna suffer uh, when you look at your preview, which means that while you're previewing your video, you might see things freezing or you might see your footage jumping and things like that. So if I were you, if you're going to use the enhanced stabilizer and you wanna preview it, 
then what I recommend doing is changing your preview to a non real time preview. So let's say I turn this on. So I'm going to click on the enhance stabilizer and I'm going to click on play. And you can see right now that it's lagging, it's freezing, it's jumping. But what you can do is come here to your preview options. And you can change it to non real time preview. And it's going to give you a warning here. And the warning basically says that if you turn on your non real time preview, your audio will be muted. Okay, so be aware of that. Don't freak out if you start playing and you can't hear your audio anymore because turning on the non real time preview mutes your audio. So now I'm going to click on play. And it's still kind of choppy, but it's not as bad as it was a moment ago. All right. So remember to go back to not to real time preview in order to turn your audio back on. So I'm going to go back to the real time preview and I'm going to turn these off. So this thing can stop messing with my compute pew. You should experiment with each one of these modes to see which one works best for your video and for your preferences. I'm going to go ahead and give you a sneak peek at all of the different options that I just showed you. Enjoy and have a wonderful day. All right, Power Director Peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now, I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Cigar Prop. Cigar Prop makes cigar review videos on their YouTube channel. So, if you're into cigars and you want to check out a couple of his reviews, head on over to the channel, watch a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys subscribe to our channel and you want to receive a shout out like Cigar Prop did, head over to the video description and complete our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial that you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video was good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do, click on the bell. When you click the bell, you receive notifications when I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of your learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.